Hello class, in this video I'll be going through the solutions for writing linear equations from Worded Problems Revision Worksheet. Whenever you encounter questions that ask you to write a linear equation to model a real life example, what you often get is two numbers or two values given. One of these values will always be a constant value which will generally be either the starting cost or the initial amount. And the other one, it will correspond to the rate, which will tell you how much um, the value will either increase or decrease, okay? And depending on whether it will increase or decrease, we will either give that a positive value or a negative value. Um, something you also want to note down is that the value that does correspond to the rate, that's generally the number that we will assign the other variable or one of the letters next to. So let's go through some of these questions so that you can understand what I mean. So for the very first question, you're trying to write an equation um, in terms of S and V. And in this question over here, you've got a person that um, earns $500 as a base um, salary. And then he makes extra cash, uh, which is $60 for each vacuum he sells. So to write an equation that uh, represents his um, weekly salary, it's going to be S is equal to... Um, it's going to be firstly the base rate. So the base rate, your constant amount is going to be 250. So always identify what is the constant and then work out what is the rate. So the rate is going to be $60. And in this case, it's going to be an increase. So it says plus 60. So therefore, I'm going to write plus 60 V. Okay, so remember the, the rate is the one that always gets assigned the extra letter. So V in this case, which represents the uh, number of vacuums sold. Question B reads, if Scott sold 17 vacuums in a week, what is his weekly salary? So therefore, we're going to sub in V is equal to 17 to find out what is the value of S. So by substituting uh, 17 into the equation, um, S is equal to 250 plus 60 which is therefore being multiplied by 17. If you put that into the calculator, you're going to get an answer of S is equal to 1270. So because this is a word problem, just make sure that you are including like appropriate units and whatnot. So therefore, I'm going to write the dollar sign over here. So he earns $1,270 in a week. For question C, it reads, if Scott earns $2,110 for the week. Work backwards now to kind of find out how many vacuums did he sell in order to make that amount of money. So in order to solve for that one over there, the equation would be 2110 is equal to 250 plus 60 V. So we're going, this is an example of linear equation. Let's solve for V. So subtract both sides by 250. So if you do that, it's now going to become 1,860 is equal to 60 V. Um, to get rid of the coefficient 60, we'll divide both sides by 60. So if you divide both sides by 60, you're going to get an answer of V is equal to 31 vacuums. So that's the number of vacuums he sold in order to earn $2,110 in that particular week. All right. So for question two, again, what we're going to do is let's work out what is our constant amount, the initial amount, and what is the rate in which it either increases or decreases by. So the question is, Henry is a Samsung representative at Optus. For every Samsung device he sells, regardless of what particular Samsung phone it is, he will get extra money, which is $9.60 for each device. He's... Uh, weekly income is already going to be $750. So that's going to be the static. That's the base amount. And it will increase by $9.60. So if you were to write an equation for his total earnings, his total earnings is going to be E is equal to $750. So that's the starting amount. And because you earn a commission, you're going to be increasing. The rate is $9.60. So $9.60, because that's the rate, that's the letter we assign to. So in this case, we'll assign the letter M, which is the number of um, Samsung phones. For question B, it reads, what is Henry's earnings if he sold 12 Samsung devices? So we're going to sub in um, M is equal to 12. So if you sub in that, it's going to be E is equal to 750 plus 960. $9.60, which is multiplied by 12, 
put that into your calculator and you should therefore get an answer of $865.20. For the last question, you're working backwards to find out how much phones he sold. So um, he's earned $990. So to work out the value of M, we'll subtract both sides by 750. That will get rid of this. So therefore you're left with 240 is equal to 960 um, M. Divide both sides by $9.60. And so therefore if you do that, M is going to be equal to 25 Samsung phones sold. For question three, um, is a scenario where you've got a tree which is initially 910 centimeters tall, so that's a constant, and it actually increases by 16 centimeters. So to write an equation for this particular model, uh, for this particular example, it's going to be h, which is the height of it, uh, is going to be 910, which is your initial amount plus 16t in this case over here. We want to find out what is the height of the tree after four and a half years. So let's sub t is equal to four and a half. So h is equal to 910 plus 16 times four and a half. Put that into the calculator and you're going to get an answer of 982 centimeters tall. So that's the height of the tree. The last question again wants you to work backwards. So the tree is now uh, 1,102 centimeters tall. Find out the value of t, the number of years that has passed for it to be that tall. So in this case, we'll subtract both sides by 910. Cancel, cancel. Um, so therefore, if you do that, you're going to get left with 192 is equal to 16t. To get rid of the coefficient 16, we'll divide both sides by 16. And hence, t is therefore going to be equal to 12 years have passed. And for the very last question, you've got a scenario where you've got a swimming pool, but it's going to be leaking. So in this case over here, um, your initial amount is going to be... 10,000 and because it's an example that involves um, leaking volume so therefore decreasing you're going to have a minus sign here so it's going to be minus 200 t in this case so the question now asks you what is the volume of the pool after 30 days so let's sub in t is equal to 30 so therefore v is equal to 10,000 minus 200 multiplied by 30 and putting that into the calculator, you should get an answer of 4,000 litres uh, remain in the pool after 30 days. For question C, it's asking you how long does it take for the pool to be completely empty. So if it's completely empty, that's when your volume is equal to zero. So therefore, if you sub in zero, zero is equal to 10,000 minus 200t. Find out the value of t. So let's subtract both sides by 10,000. So that gets rid of this. You're left with 10,000 is equal to negative 200t. Divide both sides by negative 200. And if you do that, you're going to get an answer of t is equal to 50 days for the pool to be completely empty. All right, guys, those are the solutions for this particular worksheet over here. Hopefully the video has been helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye.